Marie was mean to me, so I hit her with the ball, but I hit her I a little too hard. To so now she got did it for no reason. <laughs> go ahead, go. As hard as you can. Put the coffee down. There's Come on, I want you to <laughs> go. <laughs> hit me in the head. Come on, hit me. Look why she left. Build. Hey, what's up guys? Shane here. So we have been busy, busy, busy on this road trip, but we just wanted to fill you guys in on an update. So after we stopped at the Mayweather gym in Vegas, we got that sparring in, we hopped right back into the van and we just drove as far as we could, as long as we could. And we ended up in a beautiful national park in uh, Utah where we camped out for the first night and uh, it was a pretty amazing experience especially waking up to the beautiful views of the mountains. Get the smell of fresh blue coffee Ooh, in the morning. Stole, but started doing it. Save a little bit for tea. I brewed enough for my coffee. I'll need more for tea. <sighs> you believe this? Unbelievable. And then we just got right back on the road. We drove as far as we could. Uh, we drove through Colorado. We actually saw snow in the middle of June, which was super cool. We got out and Sully got to experience the snow. We just crossed the Nebraska state line and we camped out in a Walmart parking lot and it worked out You know, it was pretty noisy But it was cool because then we got to go into the Walmart the next morning and get ice and water and groceries and that kind of thing Then we went right back on the road and we ended up in uh, our first cool stop from there Which was Des Moines, Iowa where we got to see the Thai Boxing Association tournament the TBAs Wow, what an event here in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines? Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, the TBAs, they had nearly a thousand people uh, register for a competition here. So it was a three day event. We made it here just for the last day for the championship fights. The skill level was insane here. <laughs> Like I said, the energy was insane. The talent in there was super high. I got to speak with some of the fighters and some of the coaches. It was a great experience. And like I said, it was just really good for the sport of Muay Thai. There's a lot of talks of Muay Thai becoming an Olympic sport. We're not sure if that's going to happen, but either way, this is still really good for Muay Thai in America. We spent the night in Des Moines. So it's Monday morning. I think it's the fifth full day of our road trip. And we are about to leave Des Moines for Elgin, Illinois. <laughs> This was gonna be the whole point of this video. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning. We had to get up before eight to move the, the van so that we didn't get a ticket. And what I wanted to say is I'm really impressed with all of our abilities to be morning people all of a sudden. It's cause we're in beautiful Des Moines. Look at this place. Sully doesn't wanna leave. He has that like old man face like where he's like, I'm gonna sit here and absorb all of the wisdom of time and space. <laughs> Des Moines is speaking to me. <laughs> He's like, just shut up. You gotta go Come sleep. on. We gotta go. Come on, Saul. Look at that face, pure excitement. Come on. And then we went right back on the road because the next day we had a seminar in Elgin, um, Illinois at Fusion MMA. And that was just a super cool experience. We had a great group of people in there, a great group of martial artists. It's a sidekick part. We're working on sidekicks now. I'm sweating. These guys are working hard. We're just doing some footwork stuff, some agility stuff. Now we're actually throwing the kicks and now we're gonna incorporate it in with a little bit of boxing, uh, recovering after throwing a, a missed roundhouse kick. So Muay Thai, Taekwondo, boxing, MMA. Side kick, but now we're gonna do a pivot side kick. So a pivot side kick is I lift it up 
Okay. No, I lied. Let's do the punches. You guys, are, you guys got this. So you're gonna pillar my first two, my first two punches. Remember how we did that? So I'm gonna jab and pillar. Boom. Okay, this one pillar. Good. Now, as I throw this right hand, this is kind of loaded about halfway now for the chamber and the kick. And then, exactly, and then he goes flying into another dimension. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do, just back and forth. We'll go three for three again. So I go jab, cross, boom, boom, chamber, kick. Okay. okay? He's a little bit further away, and it's like a flicker across. Okay, and why I like this in Muay Thai is because I can go jab, cross, low, jab, cross, body, jab, cross, Okay. So if he goes to block that kick, right? Go for what's open. Go for what's open. So that's what we're gonna do. And then he throws the jab cross. Boom, boom. Then we're gonna for the right kick. Right. Other, other. Oh, okay. Jab cross. Boom. Rotate it. Ah. I'll see you there. <laughs> All right. You guys, got that? Jab cross. The, the turning of the hips already happened. So now I lift the knee up to my chest. Heel to my butt. Bend out and back down. Now I'm in southpaw. I can just take a step back into orthodox. Or if you want to try from southpaw position, jab, cross. Boom. I want to give a special shout out to Coach Ian Alexander for his uh, hospitality afterwards. After the seminar, we went back to his house. We had some tacos, which were awesome, and we just kicked it. We just talked about techniques and curriculum and systems and spreading martial arts. Um, the next morning, we got some breakfast with his family. It was a great experience, very down to earth, very humble, very nice guy, and uh, a great coach. The next stop is Pittsburgh. and. Uh, like I said, we've been busy, we've been nonstop, but it's an amazing experience. I'm glad we can share it with you guys and that uh, you're interested in, in following along. There's a lot more yet to come. We've got a lot of cool stuff planned and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So until then, I'm Shane and that's Marie behind the camera and Sully's somewhere in this small van trying to stay cool. But we're doing good, we're cool, we're good. Until then, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs. <laughs>